Hello everybody, my name is TwinPlays, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to make Roblox clothing using Custom Use. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Custom Use to make Roblox clothing very efficiently, as well as showing you how to upload it on Roblox if you are wanting to start your own Roblox clothing group. All right, so you're going to go to the description and you're going to head to customuse.com. Now, as you can tell, there is all of these buttons right here. There's all this stuff. It shows everything about what they do, which is awesome. Um, and it's really simple. Um, so you got the Roblox clothing previews and all this stuff right here. As you can tell, you can even just upload your own shirts and pants and um, really just look around through here and see what you like and understand what they do here on Custom Use. They got Fortnite, they got Minecraft, they got the Roblox AI, um, and all this stuff is really, really cool. You can actually even test out the Roblox AI right here if you'd like, just on the thing. Um, and this is another way of actually using the outfits. So if you'd like to do this, you can go into the AI part and do generate. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly how to get started. All right, so you're going to click that get started for free button and it's going to pop you into this huge thing over here. Now, if you already have an account, you can log in. If not, you're going to hit the sign up button and I recommend just doing continue with Google as it's easier or you can sign up with email. So feel free to click one of these and let's move on to the next part. All right, once you're logged in, it's gonna just give you your account, it should be up here, and you're gonna have little cu custo coins, you're gonna have downloads, all this kind of stuff. Um, I unfortunately only have zero downloads left because you get one per day if I'm right, um, if you're not in the pro download, in the pro premium subscription, but that's no matter, you can always just come back the next day. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of buttons. It may be a little confusing when you look at this. So we have the AI generate right here, as I was talking about. Um, and uh, this is where you can generate your thing. So feel free to do that if you'd like. Um, but I recommend what you're going to do is you're going to go to Roblox right here first. And you're going to look at this and it's going to have a lot of stuff. So there's Roblox Halloween. You can even just go in here. You can search for a certain thing if you'd like. Um, but it has a lot of things. Now, this one's actually really nice as that's like a simple hoodie I might want to edit. You got a suits over here that you can change color. And something I really like about this is if you really like a certain design, you just want different colors, you can just change it yourself. Um, and it's really nice because you can create clothing and you don't have to spend a lot of money on certain clothing that you might like. But let's say I want to choose this one. Once you click it, it's going to show you something like this. You got the relaxed hoodie. It's going to have like uh, certain things down here, sources. You got remixes. Um, you can see how other people have made theirs. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to hit this remix button right here. Now, remix is basically how you're going to edit your shirts, your pants, everything like that. And it's going to pop you into this designer. Now, this is very, very well made. So I'm, I'm going to give props to this because I love how easily it is uh, to manage things and do things on here. So as you can tell, we actually already have a few things. So if you pull this tab over here, you can see a few fabrics. You can see what is being made. So if I wanted to change colors, I could. I'm going to personally leave mine dark. Um, I personally like it the black. I'm going to go like even black or gray like that. Um, but let's say you wanted to change one of these buttons right here. You could change those to a certain blue. You could do anything you'd like. Um, maybe that blue would be kind of cool. You can even change the strings. Um, really, you know, do, do what you like around here. I personally just like the way it is. Um, and there's uh, the pocket. Oh, is this the pocket down here? Okay, so you got a blue pocket. I might just do that maybe for fun. Um, so... As I was going to say is there's all these accessories already pre-made for you. So if you were wanting to add something, you could simply just add it and it would automatically add it on. If you want to delete it, you go here and you'd hit delete. So it's really, 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 really nice. <laughs> I'm going to say that a lot, but um, there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, I mean, if you search, let's see right here, we got neck jewelry. So that'd be kind of cool. I'll add that because might as well. Um, oh, let's see what this silver chain looks like. Oh, I like that one better. So I'm going to delete the other one. I'm going to keep that one in and that's about it. You can even change opacity down, which is awesome. I think that's so cool. But, you know, if you want like certain things, you know, you just got to just add it on. And um, honestly, I like the gold better. So we'll do gold. Um, but as you can tell, I already created something. It's like cool already, but there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. So um, speaking of this, as you can tell down here in this bottom right corner, you actually can move things by yourself or the way you want to. Um, I think you can even make it smaller. If, yeah, if I'm correct um so if you wanted to make it a certain design you could go and just make it like that um i think you could even stretch it if i'm right um so i want to make it a little wider have it fit my edges on the edge right there perfect 
Now, there's all these media things. Personally, I wouldn't really add. I mean, it's up to you. It's all about your own creation and activities. Um, but I recommend, honestly, in my opinion, going online on Google and just getting images that you like. So, of course, right now I have. Oh, and see, as you can tell, this is the editor. So I can edit this simply and you can switch it. So now I can see it down there as well as having this up here. So, like, I personally, I like this. So if I wanted to, you know, do something like that or even just have this on the hood would be kind of cool or um oops we're not gonna do that we're gonna go image um i could add these onto the sides of my arms i could do a lot of cool stuff so if i want to go on the right side of my arm i could go like that I could go right at the bottom shoulders uh there's a lot of cool stuff you can do so i'm gonna personally i'm gonna put this on my hood because why not i guess that's kind of cool um you got text so if i had one to text i could add text uh simply since this is a kind of like gangster design i don't even know you just go right here you're just gonna hit and you say text is basically going to be i'm gonna say twin plays because i want to do something like that which is kind of cool um twin plays you change colors is really nice make it smaller now you can see in the back we got twin plays and gangster thug font <laughs> um you underline it i think oh well there's a it's only probably for certain fonts of course outline oh they have outline as well that's very nice actually i don't want to underline it um outline is nice because uh yeah that just is awesome so actually if i want to do white and outline in blue perfect um opacity you can change that down really nice um yeah so basically as you can tell i already have a shirt made for me so when you get comfortable with what you like and there is drawings there is ways to do it Honestly, like I said, recommend downloading some things online. Once you get comfortable with something you like, all you have to do is simply, um, well, let me go back down here. Uh, I'm gonna just wanna see this in person. So if I switch it, um, now you looks like this, kind of comfortable. I like this, sorta, whatever. I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> um, maybe, honestly, I'll probably just get rid of the freaking chain. It doesn't look good. Something like that, kind of funny. Or even, yeah, whatever works. I could even change the font to, you know, if I want to um, another thing you can do is, is what i also would might want to recommend is if you don't like the fonts they have i'd recommend going online and just seeing and creating your own little image through like pixlr or something and i can do another tutorial on that and just making an image of that and just putting that image via the uploads but um yeah honestly i guess i'm gonna go with this so once you do that you're just gonna hit save um you can create a design title you can add to tags anything you'd like now, if you save privately and you're on this uh, normal free subscription, it's not going to allow you to download it. So you got to make sure you hit save and publish. Once you hit save and publish, it's going to create your outfit and it's going to give you your design. So as simple as that, um, you're just going to hit download shirt PNG just like this. And unfortunately, like I said, I used mine today, but um, when I wait till tomorrow, I can download it, but you're basically going to download this and we're going to head right into Roblox. Also, make sure that you do get your pants and everything set up. Once you have both of your designs, you'll want to head over to the Roblox. So once you get all of your designs set up, when your pants, your shirt, all like that stuff, or if you just want to do your shirt and you already have pants you like, head over to roblox.com, which we're about to do, and make sure you have your downloaded images. And we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to upload these to a group or to your personal profile. All right, so as simple as it is, you're just going to go to this create tab right here. You're just going to click this button. And once you're here, you're going to have a lot of things showing up right here. Now, depending on what you're wanting to do. So let's say you want to upload this either via your profile or your group. You got to make sure you're doing it via this. OK, so if I were to upload it for a group, it'd be the same way you do it for your um, your profile. OK, so either or just make sure you're doing this correctly. This is going to show up on your group if you are selecting a group now um, and all you're going to do is you're going to go down to here and you're gonna to go to avatar items by creations. I'm, I'm gonna go back to mine just to show you what I do. Um, and as you can tell, I already have so many shirts, so many pants, but um, you're gonna click this upload asset. So once you click this button, you're gonna upload that PNG that was given to you from custom use, okay? So go over to that real quick, it should show up like this. Okay, so once you have it right here, sorry, like I said, you're just gonna click that upload button and you're gonna give a name for it and a description. So in fact, when you do it, it should kind of have your little template right here for the shirt and you can just name it whatever you'd like. I'd say like, um, for me, this one would be like twin play shirt. 
and you're gonna get a description for it. You can add tags if you like to make people buy it. Um, and you're just gonna hit upload for 10 Robux. Yes, it does cost Robux, which does kind of suck, but it's way worth it to do this instead of buying shirts for 15, 20, 25, or even 100 Robux. So for example, now when this is made, it's gonna have the name, it's gonna have a shirt, and it's gonna have this logo on it for you. Um, so I could put this on sale if I wanted to, and I could do 15, I could do 20, I could do 25 uh, to make profit back. Um, and all you would do is you'd hit publish. Um, so I would say like to play shirt, test on, yay, and hit publish. Um, and basically all that does is it brings you to have it on Roblox and you can advertise it if you'd like. Um, it's as simple as that, honestly. Um, so this goes for, this applies for everything. Okay. So when I'm talking about t-shirts, when I'm talking about pants, this applies for all of it. Now also, this also applies if you wanted to make like a little please donate game pass or something like that. You can always do that. Um, this is like a way of doing that. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like I said though, everyone, Custom Use is a free website and is so much fun to just design things and you know, really just make something that you want to do and test out. Um, I really recommend checking this out. It's a great tool. Um, try using the AI future time. Try just going through here and really like paying attention or looking at things maybe that are trending or you know something that you might find attractive but you want to change the colors and such um it's really cool what you can do on here and um really just be creative and if you need any help feel free to contact them or contact me uh via my discord and i can help you guys out um i hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial i'm twin plays and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye